another day on my schedule Steady blocking the devil, I tell a hater, God bless you You gotta keep the momento, if you love me then I love you And I could never forget Good morning Um <sighs> Okay I'm really trying to pull myself together right now But I'm a little upset to be honest because I found out some information. It's like a missing piece to the puzzle. Like the situation that I've been in for the last couple days. And I told Adam about it. He's not too happy. And um, it's taking all my strength right now not to cry. Because I still gotta, I hate showing weakness. Like, I absolutely hate showing weakness. <sighs> Pull it together. Alright, so. As soon, like, I just got off the phone, right? And I'm like thinking, what in the actual fuck is going on? What in the actual fuck is going on? Because people are trying to start shit, either start shit or not, not let it, things just happen when they want to butt in. And you know what? It feels worse than it is right now, because right now I'm currently broken from what I heard, and what I heard was all these rumors that are going around and they're saying like, oh, Adam doesn't want to be with you, Adam is this, Adam is that, and I told Adam what I heard, maybe it was my mistake for repeating it, but I had to ask him for myself, and I did, so when I asked Adam about it, he's like, what the fuck are you talking about, he's like, I love you with all my heart, and I don't know why people are trying to start shit, and trust me, I do want to believe, I want to be with you, and when I see you, I'll show you how much I want to be with you. It's like, it feels like there's people who are trying to sabotage my relationship when they don't really know me. Like, they know of me, they've seen me, they've interacted with me. And it just hurts when people start to do shit like this, you know? Like, why? Why is the question? Why are you starting shit? I don't know if it's true. I don't know whether or not to believe side A or side B. Because y'all already know that I love this man with all my heart, all my being. And... To me, love is the strongest drug out there, and I've overdosed on this drug. Because the way that I feel, I feel like um, this man that I've known for 23 years is just... I feel like he's the one. I know that he's the one. We have a beautiful son together. And I don't know how to deal with this. It sucks. And it hurts. Like, this hurts so fucking bad right now. Like, my heart literally feels like it was 
torn out of my chest and thrown on the ground, stabbed, shattered. And then placed back into my chest. And I don't know how to deal with it. Like, y'all know, like, I've been told so much that I'm a strong woman. I'm a strong woman. I've done this. I've done that. I've stuck by my son when he was in the hospital. True. Would I leave my son at the hospital? No. Have I stuck by my man through thick and thin? Yes. Absolutely. And this is just like the worst fucking pain that I've ever encountered in my whole entire life. The worst pain ever. I'm sitting here, and I was on the phone with Adam, and he's like, trust me, I'm going to show you how much I love you. Don't I always? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, why are you letting people judge our relationship? I'm like, I'm not. I'm just, like, informing you of everything that, I heard. Like, did I do the wrong thing? Adam, if you're watching this, I am so sorry. I am so sorry for telling you. I wasn't trying to hurt you in any, in any way, shape, or form. You know that. I just don't hide anything from you. And it just felt like a cut like a knife. I don't know what to do. Am I wrong? What did I do? What? Like, you're coming at me. Like, these people are coming at me sideways, I feel. You're coming at me sideways. And you're judging me yet you barely know me. And yet, I'm going to go scripture right now. The Bible says, judge not lest ye be judged. So, you're judging a person that you don't even know. And I'm sorry. I am so sorry for just doing this. Like, it's cutting me deep down, and this channel is about keeping it 100. It sucks. <sighs> I'm sorry, Adam. I'm so sorry. Please don't hate me. I didn't... I didn't mean to... Maybe I shouldn't have told you. I shouldn't have told you. That's my fault. Yeah, that's my fault. It's my fault for telling you. Anyways, um... I'm gonna go. I'll see y'all in the next vlog. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Starver Empire. As Adam would say, hustle hard. If Major is awake, he would say subscribe. And as I always say, kisses from the missus. And don't forget to keep shining bright like the diamonds and the beams that you are. Bye guys. If I hear...
girl, what's wrong? My man ain't shit. Then why you won't leave him? Cause bitch, dick too bomb. Girl, get some present dick. They'll blow your back out, just saying. Yeah.